Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Amal Shami In our video, we explain about uh, Islamic finance in Zimbabwe Okay, what is Islamic finance? Islamic finance is a financial system That must comply with Sharia, which is Islamic law uh, The state of banking system in Zimbabwe requires a different thing to run their business And that's why many business have collapsed due to high cost of funds In 2008, and Janike recommended of opportunities for the introduction of Islamic finance in Zimbabwe He also explained a good reason why uh, Zimbabwe should choose Islamic finance as their financial system Ashirai Mawere also added that uh, Islamic finance will its liquidity challenge and increase Zimbabwe's status in the world as financial service Next, I will explain about the geographical distribution of Islamic bank in Zimbabwe Nowadays, there are many articles that promote the advantage of applying the Islamic banking system As we know, Islamic banking is a banking system that follows the Sharia compliance One of the advantages is uh, the Islamic banks can boost the GDP of the Zimbabwe country But nowadays, there, in Zimbabwe, there is still no Islamic banks yet Therefore, there is no geographical distribution of Islamic banks in Zimbabwe As we know, Islamic banking and finance in Zimbabwe has not been established yet But we can see from the publications available that the country is working on it It can be said that the movement to introduce the Islamic banking and finance in Zimbabwe has started from the Islamic Finance Forum that held in 2012 Pursuant to the Islamic Finance Forum, the government and the Islamic community's leaders there has met few times in 2013 to discuss the implementation. Even though the Islamic Banking and Finance in Zimbabwe has not been established yet, but the awareness regarding the Islamic Banking and Finance has increased among the people in Zimbabwe. Since there is no Islamic banks in Zimbabwe, therefore we are going to discuss about the product and services offered by one of the top banks in Zimbabwe which is CBZ Bank CBZ Bank is a conventional bank that offers various types of product and services starting from personal or individual to company or corporate one of the product offered by CBZ Bank to individuals is cash plus housing account this is simply a saving account with high interest earning so that in the future individuals can buy a house CBZ banks also offer services such as claims consultancy services to corporate company this service simply providing the companies by guiding them in what type of insurance they need to buy since nowadays there are so many types of insurance such as health insurance vehicle insurance, building insurance, and so on. Last but not least, since this is a conventional bank, therefore, all the product and services offered by them surely and clearly will not run from prohibited elements of transaction such as selling alcohol and riba. Currently, there is no specific law governing the Islamic banking and financing in Zimbabwe. However, there is certain law that we can consider similar to the Islamic teaching because the law is not against the Sharia. First, under the Exchange Control Act, Chapter 32, any money laundering will classify as criminal which will lead to civil penalty. Under Microfinance Act, Chapter 24, when a person advances a loan to someone, no interest should be charged on the loan. Move on to the issues and challenges that Islamic finance need to face. Actually, there are many, but I will just brief only three of them. Okay, the first one is the inability of the government of Zimbabwe to handle the crisis like paying debts. Second one is being dominated by the conventional bank, which make it hard for the Islamic finance, which is new by to enter the industries. The last one is people perception that Islam is terrorist and it makes it hard for the Islamic finance to be advanced because people will associate the term Islam with terrorists. Based on the research, it can be concluded that for the time being, 
there is no existence of the Islamic banking and finance institution yet in Zimbabwe. However, the situation is totally different here in Malaysia. With the respect as a Muslim majority country, there are many banks that offer the Islamic banking and financing system to all the fellow Malaysians. Hence, we should always be grateful on these advantages we are having in our society today. This is aligning with a Quran verse which asks us to always be grateful. Allah mentioned in Surah Ibrahim verse number 7 which means And remember, when your Lord proclaimed, if you are grateful, I will surely increase you in favor. But if you deny, indeed, my punishment is severe.